Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Uh, since the Pocket Fighter got such a huge, and I mean huge, view of 10,000 we're sitting on for the one little video, and I didn't even mean for it to do that. I was just building something that everyone wanted to see on the land carrier. Uh, I think I'm going to go back and, well, not think, this video will be me going in here and seeing if I can't make this thing even better. I'm, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of how it looks right now when you look on top it kind of looks like a square and that's not sexy at all we need to make this thing sexy i mean i kind of like the whole uh, diamond thing going on back here but um yeah let's let's fix this let's try to make it not as uh part clippy like for instance when it does the vtol maneuver it's supposed to like the wings are supposed to fold up and then the engine kind of drops in between them but as we uh, look at it now that's not really the case it's a little too squished but we are dealing with a very small opening. Actually, we were. The new version of the land carrier that I'm still working on has a much larger elevator, so we have some room to play around. But let, matter of fact, let's do that first. Let's go ahead and, and uh, load up the carrier that we're working on, still working on, and uh, see if see how much room we actually have inside the bay. Oh. Little bit on the wobbly side, huh? Oh shit, this might hurt a little bit. Oh, no, okay, it's in, <laughs> it's in there, sort of. It's nice and roomy. There's no way to back up. Hmm. Oh look, it's a sky lamp. Oh jeez. Wow, this thing loves to tip over. Oh my goodness. Maybe this pocket fighter was great for the first one, but not so much for the second one. I mean, it's got plenty of room. If I can just test it. Oh my. There we go. Finally. I mean, definitely has more uh, space between those. This little flag right here is definitely in the way. These aren't strong enough. They, they bend horribly. So that's something we have to work on as well. But right now for this video, we're just going to make a, re a, a, better, a better pocket fighter. And if we have time, yes, we'll put firework guns on it. Yay. <laughs> So some of you believed that when I was talking about the Fat Man in Fallout, what I really meant was the Fat Man that bombed Japan back in the war. However, this is not what I was talking about at all. Now, it's not your fault. Perhaps you never actually played Fallout. In the Fallout universe, there is a weapon called the Fat Man. It is a nuclear bomb launcher. A mini nuclear bomb launcher. It is very dangerous and can kill both enemy and friend, if you're not careful. Let me explain. Now that you've been educated, please take your seats. Thank you. Okay, so it can be a lot taller. It doesn't have to be, this doesn't have to be in the way anymore while going down. I can actually bring that up. We'll make this pocket fighter three and we can actually bring this out now. I think it still has to be the same length though from what I'm looking at. The elevators are kind of not super wide. So we'll keep, we'll keep the same length. I would use these little ones, but they are extremely weak. This one seems to be strong enough. Yeah, I don't think so. That would be sweet.
I'm, what I'm going to do is it's kind of like missiles. So you got like, you know, the number four and five and six key. And you got eight shots per key. So that's eight times three. That's not bad, right? The Cal 1000. I didn't, you know, put the max on it because I don't need this thing to literally destroy the little fighter when it's trying to fire. So as long as their force is up there about like, you know, launch velocity is about 13, 1200. That, that's pretty good. That's that's doable. That's that's weaponized. So we're good. We're good. Thinking about putting these landing gears on something that can extend it forward. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Oh, okay. Hmm. That was interesting. Mm hmm. Have I discovered a new form of rust? Wow. The piston does not like that at all. Not one bit. All right, no pistons, gotcha. Hmm, I lost control pretty quickly there. As soon as it tilted, that was it. That was it. As soon as it tilted, that was it. All right, so now it has forward and uh, reverse thrust. It can move around in the hangar bay, but that no control was pretty bad. As soon as I moved backwards, that was it. We can always put reaction wheels. All right. Very nice. I need a button to lock these. That's the only difference. Ooh, I'm a horrible shot. <laughs> Pull up. Pull up. Uh, no. Oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, yuck. That's horrible. Pull up. Yep. Well, I keep on hitting him. I just hit him with my jet not the best thing in the world. Definitely would have to put some sights on that sucker. Okay, let's just land this time, please. No! Uh... Wish there was an easier way to do this. I'm almost half tempted. I'm almost half tempted to put like landing gears on here, not like the rolling, the the not like the aircraft gears, but more like the more like the you know foot gears. Ooh, wow, we are burning through RCS, <sighs> and we're not moving at all. All right, I'm gonna have to cheat. So, we're going to have to figure out a way to store more monopropellant. Come on. How hard is it to back up? I'm getting acceleration from just turning. 
I don't understand at all, other than the fact that this is buggy KSP. At its finest. Boy, you are you are a small elevator all of a sudden. I used to have great faith that you would do great things one day. Apparently, I was a little wrong. Definitely a little wide for the doors, but that's okay. Oh dear. <laughs> nope. We're sorry, you're gonna have to fold up. There you go. Yeah, and that stupid thing right there. Oh, we're gonna squeeze. Uh, 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 oh, end of it. No! I am so sorry, everyone. I am all out of time. I cannot continue because it is reaching 10 o'clock. And I need to get to bed so I can work another 10 hours tomorrow. Uh, love you all. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Taking a break, baby? No, actually, I'm going out of my way to prove a point. To prove a point, what's what? The fat man. <laughs>